All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is going to be an unboxing of the all new Techno RC EB48.3. Now this is their newest rendition of their 1.8 scale four wheel drive electric competition buggy. This is a kit uh, build and you do need to provide your own electronics, wheels, tires. So uh, pretty much this thing is very, very cool. Um, now, if you guys have been following the RC Network for a while, you'll notice that I've had the original SCT410, their short course truck they released a long time ago. Um, the original release from Techno was the EB48 uh, with no uh, 0.12 or 3 behind it. Um, that was their first uh, production vehicle from Techno RC. They followed that with, of course, the SCT410, and then all sorts of different other vehicles have followed. Now they did release an EB48.2 a while back that just had some updates to the original EB48. There was no EB48.1 at all. Now with the EB48.3, there's lots of changes and they've done a very good job of really listening to their racers and then also uh, getting some of those lap times down with this particular 8 scale buggy. So really quick, we're going to unbox this thing now, of course. Kit unboxings are not the most sexiest thing on YouTube, but I want to show you guys kind of what you get inside the box, go over some of the changes that uh, Techno has done to this vehicle, and then kind of go from there. So, of course, right here we get the typical Techno uh, box, uh, very um, pretty much like a shoebox size. So this thing is is packed down very, very small. Now with that, you do get a body with this particular uh, kit. Um, which is very nice. Um, I know on the SCT410 or even the 410.3 now, you don't get a body. So it's kind of nice that they're including that buggy body um, with this um, electric buggy. So right here on the flip side over here, we are going to have a quick model number. Uh, this is going to be the TKR5005. So uh, that is the newest version of the electric buggy. There's going to be a, a link in the video description straight over to Techno RC, uh, so you can take a look at their whole line of vehicles. That's where I actually purchased this one from uh, because they pretty much had it in stock, so that was pretty cool. Uh, here, really quick, here's some of the specs on it as we read down the line. We have 4 millimeter CNC aluminum hard anodized lightened chassis, so right out of the box we get the upgraded chassis. Center uh, drive line for maximum efficiency, um, CNC 7075 aluminum shock towers. Now these are the newest version and they're, they're, they're like really, really tall um, to accommodate the new um, shocks that they have on this buggy. Light and drive tearing parts throughout, so you're going to get the um, light and drive shaft uh, through the center, the aluminum version. You're also going to get uh, light and um, out drives for the diffs, all sorts of things. Uh, next thing here, lightened aluminum parts throughout, pivot ball, bushings, all that good stuff. On the flip side over here, 16 millimeter big bore shock bodies with um, CNC Delrin pistons, and I believe they are a tapered piston, which is pretty cool. So you can adjust not only the pack, uh, but I believe the rebound on the other side. So um, three fluid-filled adjustable super lightweight discs. Now throughout the um, progression of the EB48 to now the .3 version, they keep lightening up things just to give you a little bit more horsepower, quicker acceleration, and with that comes quicker braking. Um, innovative split center diff mount, which I really like. They do one of the absolute best, um, not only motor mounts, but also... Uh, the best uh, center diff mount as well. So now they've kind of changed up to where you can actually pull out your center diff really quick. Now before you actually had to release the motor mount and the um, center diff upright to get that center diff out. Uh, best in class durability and wear. I mean this thing is super bulletproof and that's what Techno has kind of been known for throughout the years. All metric hardware which I appreciate. So that's enough of, of this box here. Um, I've already cut the seals and I've already looked at it. So um, you guys are along for the ride here to uh, see what you get inside the box. So some other things you need, of course you need tools, uh, you need CA glue, two-sided tape, paint for the body that's included. You need a motor, you need an ESC, steering servo, two to three channel surface radio system, four to six cell LiPo battery, 
You do need wheels and tires, and you need a pinion gear. So lots of questions on the pinion gear. Some kits include it. Techno does not. Um, and I think that's really personal preference because they don't know where you're going to run. Are they? Are you going to run on a really tight track? Are you going to op open on a, a wide open track? Um, they don't know. So they also don't know what motor you're going to run. So I think it's only fair that they did not include that. Um, I have plenty of Mod 1 pinions that I can add straight to this, but let's get this thing open. Uh, right here, kind of a nice little box, and we get another, another box in here. So this is the uh, um, kind of flip open type one right here, and all white inside. And look at that. This thing is just packed full of RC. So really quick, we're going to kind of go through the bags and show you kind of what you get inside. I've already looked at this, and I've already kind of taken a look, so kind of familiar with what you get. You do get a high downforce wing right here, white in color. You do get some uh, aluminum locking serrated um, wheel nuts and looks like some plastic uh, parts to hold the wing down. Now on the body, I know there's some you know people that really hate this body. I actually like it because it's kind of a center cab, nice and sleek, it kind of looks stealth. Um, I know there's not a lot of thought that went into this body because it's really just kind of square and you know not a whole lot of detail to it. Um, it does have the center cab like I said and it's really um, straight when you're looking um, on set and you know of course Techno is pretty um, known for having a very very narrow chassis and really quick here if I measure this we're looking at a uh, little over five inches in width so if you compare that to like a low C um, uh, eight uh, you know this thing is super narrow so uh, very nice keeps everything nice and centered and um, pretty cool and pretty much in here you get two huge bags and I don't want to really break down the bags yet because I'm going to start building this thing immediately. But um, of course, inside here, um, you know, lots of parts, and I'm already seeing that nice um, aluminum center drive shaft there, and it has the Techno stamping on it. My SCT 410 did not. Um, all the different side skirts and radio boxes and everything comes in that bag. This bag is the money bag. This is all the cool parts. So I'm look already looking at diffs, rear um, hubs. All the bearings, um, the center diff, um, really cool A-arms now. And now these things are fully enclosed on the bottom, so there's no holes that go through. Kind of hard to see through the plastic there. And here's actually a rear one. Kind of see how it's all plastic uh, right there. It has a little tapered um, upsweep on it, so um, super nice. Um, other than that, lots of, um, lots of parts in that big, heavy bag right there. One thing that's nice about Techno is they do include um, all the fluids to get you going. So you do have thread lock, you have diff grease, you have all of your um, uh, diff oils and also your shock oil. So pretty cool that they're including all that. Some other manufacturers do not. Here's that lightened um, chassis. This is the upgraded chassis right out of the box. Um, four millimeter anodized aluminum lightened so you kind of see all the the gussets and whatnot and, and uh, crevices that they've kind of milled out of this thing to lighten it up as much as possible. And lastly, we do get an owner's manual. So um, Techno is known for probably, in, in my opinion, one of the best written manuals on the market. Um, when I built the SCT410, um, the shocks, whoever uh, wrote how to build the shock and tune the shock and bleed the shock, um, you know, awesome job. They did a great job at doing that and once again I'm only expecting uh, the best with this one. Now we do get some decals because the body is included um, so I'm going to uh, wear those pretty proud. like the blue and white already so that's already appealing to me. Got some window masks in there for the uh, included buggy body. Well guys that is it for the unboxing of the EB48.3. I cannot wait to get this thing going built and show you throughout the process how this thing actually builds up. Well guys, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.